Hi, it's Lisa Pressman here in my studio. Um, about to work on a painting that's uh, pretty old. It's, I've been working on it for, believe it or not, a couple of years. It started out as an encaustic painting and it actually went out and then came back. Um, and I never really quite felt like it was to my liking. So I've been painting over it with oil paint on top of the encaustic. Um, it's dried right now. It has um, white paint on top of it, oil paint. And you can see there's a lot of carving in to it and lines. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm gonna take this, um, this is blue ochre, it's a RNF pigment stick. And it's a beautiful color. When, it, when you first put it down, it kind of reads as black, a blue black. Um, so it's one of those colors that you could use as a chromatic black if you wanted to. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use their blender stick, which is uh, linseed oil, a little bit of wax, and this has a little bit of dryer in it. And I'm just gonna loosen up this paint. And what it does is it helps the paint to spread. It also makes it, a little, makes it more transparent and allows me to bring down, bring out the undertone of the blue ochre, which is this uh, beautiful sort of golden, well, more like, not golden, more like a Turner-esque yellow um, tone. Let's put some more down over here. Especially on white, you can see it. And you'll see it, it'll sit into the, um, the crevices and I can use a tool to really lay it in there so that some of those crevices become nice and dark. So I can use this scraper tool, um, bowl scraper it's called, to move the paint around also. I'm gonna try to put it on this white here. Let's see if you can see it. And without the blender, let me see what happens when I move it around. Yeah, so it's, it's almost um, like a little raw savanna coming through. And I, I like it because it gives it some atmosphere, um, particularly over white. Let's lay these in these lines here. gonna go across the lines with the paint, lay it in and go across. So in fact, some of that paint is going into the carvings. The more I move it, or I'll get this kind of tint out of it from the undertone of the paint. Let's just do a little bit more here. Let's see over here. Again, the blender stick. I think I'm going to stay without the blender stick and just use some spit and polish with my arm. underneath and if I put a little blender stick let's say where the, the white is and I want to get rid of that make that clean that'll remove some of the paint so I could actually just be playing around with blue ochre blender stick paper towel and my carving tool which is a loop, pottery loop, a loop tool. And there you have it for today's studio project. It's Friday. Have a great weekend.